Okay, as you guys can see, it is very, very, very foggy out. Like, you probably couldn't see, I don't know, 50 feet when I was driving. <laughs> um, it is 7.15 on Sunday, I believe it's the 23rd, somewhere in that neighborhood. And we are at Florence Flea Market. So we're going to get started, walk around, do some shopping. I did uh, buy a couple things yesterday i went on an estate call uh, let me see if i can show you guys real quick so this will be you know what we'll, we'll be bringing to auction this week probably so bought some robots and some toys yeah there's a mix of old and new some vintage tin friction cars star trek there's star wars there's old like mark's tank bunch of robots the boxes are just full of stuff I moved all this down because I like to have empty space when I'm shopping um, just so it's easy for me to get stuff into the car and I am gonna go and start buying oh we also have started up our whatnot uh, we have an auction today actually at two and then we're gonna try to do three or four auctions a week so hopefully we'll be doing two or three three or four auctions a week there and then our regular three auctions Tuesdays through Thursdays here on YouTube but let's see what we can find today I'll keep you guys in the loop okay guys so just took a load to the car another buddy of mine that I've been buying the toy lots from that you guys see brought me stuff so I'll show you guys what he brought he brought his little car today didn't bring the truck huh uh, yeah, I didn't break, yeah, I didn't break <laughs> There's some in the back, too. Some more in the back seat. Okay. And what's my number for everything? I don't know. Okay. I have not. I have not. <laughs> You're and supposed to know that when you I get here. I have not even done it this morning. <laughs> I couldn't. VR 549. <laughs> now, this, this tote... It's so heavy because there's set injectors in the bottom of it. Oh, okay. For a diesel, that's why it's so heavy. Got ya. Um, well, that's pretty cool. I don't even know garbage truck kids make cars. Dungeons and Dragons. But anyway, I'm gonna let you um. So that's what we've got, guys. So. I'm gonna see if we can get a press out of. Okay, he's ever talking to a couple buddies of his. This one's hilarious. We always joke that my mom looks like ET, so that's really funny for me. So we're gonna see what pricing he wants for the stuff. A lot of smalls, um, which is really good for us for shipping, and some of them can be really good. Oh, that's cool. Um. I kind of want to be in around I mean I'm just doing a quick math in my head um, probably like 200 250 but we'll see what he says and we'll we'll try to catch it on camera let you guys see a transaction as it goes down and we'll see what he says so hang on let me see if I can get him back over here he's talking some guys that buy automotive stuff. He has a lot of automotive stuff. This thing's cool. It's not really worth it. No, it's, yeah, it's, they're not. It is cool. They made that one in a V for Vendetta yeah. and a Joker one. Yeah. I've I, I never seen the other two. I didn't know they even made them. Yeah. Um, My favorite thing out of everything is that E.T. Yeah, pops this? thing because... We always joke that my mom looks like E.T. Uh-huh. Because she's like, you know, she's like four foot tall. Yeah, mine is too. And I'm short, but, you know. Oh, man. I have no idea. I say we back your car over here and we just start. Okay, give me a number. I don't have a number. I mean, I don't want to go. I don't know how many pieces there are here. Well, you gotta always give me the number first. If you come shop for me, I'll give you a price. <laughs> oh, 
you know why I buy from you, right? Like, just because then I don't got to go to the warehouse and pull out my own stuff and find it. <laughs> how long does, how long would this last on a sale? This I is, mean, this is, uh, all of this would be gone this week. Yeah, I mean, I, but you, so you, I mean, but when you sell it. Like the other week when I, I bought the other stuff from you for what, 130, 140? Yeah. So I put that in the auction. We did five lots out of it, maybe. Mm -hmm. I got 50 a piece for two lots. Um, I got 25 for one lot. I got 60 for another lot. And I got 30 for another lot. It cost us 40 bucks to ship. Yeah. I made $40. Yeah. Total. I know, so, I know, I know. So it was just like, it was one of those things that. So you sell but, it, you'll take this and make lots out of it. You won't, oh yeah. it doesn't sell pieces. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, when we start on whatnot, which we are going to start doing soon, uh, that's where you'll you'll do single stuff. And we may do single stuff. Yeah. I don't know yet what my audience, they'll yeah. see the video today. Yeah. And then they'll be like, hey, could you bring that to the auction on YouTube? Yeah. And if they don't say something, then it may go to the auction on whatnot. Because then I can sell single pieces and I get paid shipping. The shipping's where it kills me. Yeah. You say you do everything free shipping. Yeah. yeah. Well, you kind of got to. That's a little better than the last one. There's more items. They're smaller items, but there there are more items for sure. Um, I'm going to go high and say 250 Well, okay. So that's 250 Um was that actually sitting down and pulling it out piece by piece? Look, I was, yeah. my number was 200, so we're not too far apart. You want to meet in the middle, 225? That's fine, and I keep okay. this. Oh, I really want that. <laughs> I never knew they made those. <laughs> that is, I actually have a real one. Oh, real Willis? Yep. Nissan Patrol. So guys, we don't get we don't get the don't garbage get that. truck. That, that's like, one thing. So, one thing out. So, so 220, you guys see it right here. This is what I'm paying. See the stuff this week in the auction. I'm gonna go put this in the car. I'm gonna pay him, and uh, we'll go from there. Everybody likes it. Everybody likes to see when I pay people, so we'll, <laughs> we'll pull out the buddy and we'll pay you. Okay, so 225. Got it out for you. There you go. I had to give you some singles. I didn't have any fives. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so now we're gonna move this stuff into my car over there. I'll move it over. Tow. I just need to get that set of injectors out from underneath. <laughs> Save the injector for twenty five bucks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll move the car over here. In they're the actually they're actually not any good. Yeah. They're cores. Okay, guys. So this is what you guys will uh, be seeing this week. It's what we bought. I'll give you guys a total rundown this afternoon on everything else that we pick up. So guys, here's the other stuff I bought so far today. Rainbow Rock and Roll press kit. This is Delta Airlines. Uh, there is a silver bullet, like Lone Ranger looking uh, pocket knife. It's a fisherman, it's a fly fisherman. So weather vane, copper. And then that book, that box there is full of like uh, 1880s, 1890s books. We got these old clocks. Let me see if I can get the books up in here show you guys. Star Trek face. Okay. There's the books, you know, like 1870s to about 1910. And the weather, the weather vane is a hit or miss. Either it's a reproduction and they did a good job of it and it's worth a uh, hundred bucks. I'm gonna say it's right. If it's, if it's old, it's broken, like the wire's broken on it. If it's old, it, there's, I found some in the five to 10 grand range. You can open the door. And I got One these clocks. It looks like it's a repro. It's on this pole. I put, yeah, he had the pole to put it on. It It was laying in the back of his car, and we put it on the pole. He said he didn't get it with the pole. So, and the pole doesn't look know. right for it. It may be old. Because I don't think they would have went to that reason not to have done anything. So there's what the back of the car looks like now. <laughs> and we're going to finish going and shopping. Yeah, I think I'm gonna walk through before I go. I'm gonna walk through. Well, now you got money, you can go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Buy more stuff. Okay, guys, we're home. Home on the range. Kim's gonna catch stuff as it falls out of the back of my car. Wonderful. Ready? Yeah. Ha. 
So there we go. So our biggest possible score is that awesome um, 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 weather vane up there, the fishing weather vane. We have lots of toys. I will show you guys in just a few minutes. We're going to try to put all this in here somewhere and show you everything we bought today, hopefully. Okay, so we finally got everything out of the car, kind of. I picked this up today. This is an Ansonia clock. The original key and the pendulum are down inside, which is pretty awesome. It's a regulator clock. This is really cute. Sessions, very 40s, 50s kitschy. Look, it even says kitsch clock. Pretty neat. Wooden. Those will probably go to the antique shop. Um, rust proofing advertising book from 1907. Pretty awesome. Some, I don't know what language this is, but these are like 1890s to 1910 books. There's a ton of really great books in here. Uh, we were in talks with Whatnot about doing some book things. We're going to open up a book category soon, so antique books. So we have that stuff. Guys, if there's any of the stuff you see in today's video that you want me to bring to YouTube, make sure you comment and let me know. Uh, because we are going to be doing more and more whatnot auctions as well. Uh, also, in there's that big um, weather vane, the fly fisherman weather vane up there. And this, this part of the video will be pretty quick. I did a couple yard sales and an estate sale. The estate sale had like the Star Trek gun, this Lewis Marks wind up toy. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels Mongoose model kit from Monogram. There are these three old boxing films. There's Funko Pops down in there and that whole box is full of more toys and stuff. This box has a bunch of 1940s and 50s and 60s toys in it. There are robots kind of everywhere. You can see bigger robots back there. More here, battery up. Some plush. Some starting lineups. More robots. These are really awesome. Vintage tin litho friction cars in the original boxes. There's three different ones of those. Um, we got this, and I didn't show last week, uh, from a yard sale. Some Harley Davidson clothes. Some Harley shirts, vintage t-shirts, some con- there's a whole bunch of con- these are a bunch of concert t-shirts down in here. So we have all that, and then look at this. This is the toys I bought today. An awesome lunchbox. Deadpool figure, Batman vinyl figure, lots of He-Man, uh, Garbage Pail Kids and Transformers, all kinds of Star Wars, Leatherface, more superhero and he-man another lunchbox more superhero toys lots of star wars look at star tater we got chewbacca mask i'm not even gonna try to make the chewbacca noise because every time i do it it sounds really bad there's some more i showed these earlier the delta from delta airlines I got this. this is 1996. This is an uncut set sheet, um, including the Kobe Bryant card. Really awesome uncut sheet. Really valuable if you look online. Not super valuable, but decent. Rainbow band. Never even heard of the band, but awesome press kit. Some more toys. All the way kind of around there. There is a bunch of... Is there anything else that we moved in already? Nope. There's a bunch of 1800s handwritten letterhead and stuff like that in here. And orphanage paperwork. Some more die cast. Just tons of really awesome stuff this week. So I think all of this stuff's going to get brought to the auction this week. Um, between Whatnot and YouTube. I think we're going to focus mainly on YouTube, of course. And work some Whatnots in over next weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope there's some cool stuff. Make sure you comment below what you're interested in. Let us know, guys. You guys get to control the auctions. So hopefully we'll see you there on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 1 until about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
always starting at 25 bucks with no reserve and we get free shipping in the US. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Mr. Bizelot and Mr. Bizelot staff saying thank you.